A couple months ago, I started a brand new island in Animal Crossing, and then I completely abandoned it. And now that I've made my return to the island, what better way to celebrate than by kicking out every single villager and replacing them with amiibos. I have this fat stack of amiibos, as you can see, and I am about to shuffle it so we could see who's gonna move on to the island. Uh, let me do it on camera. Ooh. Basically, I'm gonna shuffle it, and then we're gonna take whoever's on top of the stack, and we're not gonna see who they are until it officially scans in. And that villager is, hold on, let's do it together. We scan it on the Joy-Con. Dom, oh. Dom is a villager that I have history with. As you can see, he's mad to see my face again. No, I'm kidding. Hello, oh wow. Just standing right front and center. He was waiting for me to come here, huh? Hey, thanks for the invite. I'm super pumped to be here in Dideru. I'm on a quest to take my fitness to the next level. By the time I'm done, I want my biceps to have biceps. And why should I stop at a six pack? There's lots of numbers higher than six. I don't need to know anything about your body, Dom. Just please, please give me the recipe so we can move things on. A tree standy. Okay, that's a fun recipe. Oh, and luckily for us, wow. Very lucky I have the required materials to craft this thing so we can actually do this right away. So far, things are running pretty smoothly. Um, I'm not complaining, but I guess I should find a workbench. I don't have one. We should have a workbench near the campsite because as you can see, the campsite is in a pretty inconvenient place. I literally put it up there just so that I could take a nice thumbnail for the last video we did on this island. So don't mind me. And um, speaking of, now I have to run around the island so I can find my workbench. I don't even know if I have one. I'm pretty sure I had one. Yeah, right here by my house. Let's craft this tree standy real quick. And let's just give it back to Dom. Yeah, the premise of this video, very, very straightforward, very, very repetitive. So it's going to be a lot of work, huh? For me specifically, I don't know how long I'm going to be sat here, but just thinking about it, I'm already overwhelmed. So we're just going to whip and boom through this shit, honestly, because now that I have the first recipe from Dom ready to go, uh, let's literally just skip to the next day. There's no point spending any more time per day than we need to because like i said i'm gonna be sat here for a very 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 long time oh my god way <laughs> see this is how you know it's been a long time since i played on this island because i was like girl it's february i thought the snow melts towards the end of the month what do you mean it's already green over here i'm playing on a southern hemisphere island you know it's pretty fitting too because the snow has melted in game you know, for Northern Hemisphere players. So now I guess this thing feels a lot more accurate. Puddles, I'm not talking to you. Sorry to the puddle stand, but she's not She's not gonna be on this island for much long either. So we're just gonna avoid that. Happy um spring, happy like early days of the year. I don't know. The time changes on Sunday as well. Like we can celebrate. We've made it through another daylight savings era. Um, You know, that's exciting. I don't think things are gonna get better after that, but at least the day doesn't get dark at 5 p.m. anymore, so celebrate that. Dom is back on the island, coming straight back to this campsite. I'm just praying he gives us an easier recipe this time around because, well, he gave us an easy recipe last time. I'm, I, I guess I should specify, I hope he keeps that streak going. That's what I meant to say, yeah. I fear that she's gonna try and ping me down again no, she's good. Okay. We, I really cannot make any contact with any of my villagers today or for God knows how long this video is going to take because if I form any sort of attachment to these villagers, I'm not going to want to let them go. I have not spoken to them since we hit three stars. So there's no attachment for me personally. I don't know any of these people. I don't know their history. So I'm willing to let go of them just like that because for me, I don't know. I value villagers for their personalities and their dialogue more than I do their aesthetics. It's hard to kind of do that in New Horizons though, so that's why it's very easy for me to kick out villagers. Okay, a plain wooden shop sign. I think that only requires wood. I still have some in my pockets, so hopefully I have enough to make me a sign. I have 10 and the wooden shop sign. I didn't learn the recipe yet. Oh my God. Listen, I know <laughs> there's no point in complaining about things in this game, 
because it's never going to get fixed, girl. Like, let's just be honest. It's never going to get fixed. Nintendo doesn't give a fuck about this game. They've moved on to the next console, by the way. Like, I'm pretty sure the next console is coming. So there's no point complaining. But one can just hope the next game has improvements like myself. And for me, like, if they're going to keep the crafting thing, I really just hope they stop giving like physical recipes when you're learning it the first time. Cause you know how like Tom Nook and Blathers and everybody, they just like give you the recipe directly to your phone. I wish your villagers would do that too. We all have Nook phones on the island. Why don't they just give it to you directly? And then if you're getting the recipe again from them or through bottles on the beach, that's how you get like those physical card recipes. Cause I get why Nintendo did that. They give you like the actual item instead every single time. Um, it's just so that you're able to trade it with friends. But like, that's another thing. I wish you were able to buy recipes, like any recipe that you learn in the game, you could just buy them again if you're willing to sell them or like trade them with your villagers or your friends or whatever. Okay, day two is done. Now we move on to day three. Oh my God. <laughs> Basic wow, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought. It's only been 10 minutes. So maybe I can get through this a lot easier. Although, to be fair, Dom has so far given me pretty simple recipes. Um, so moving on to the next day, we can finally kick out a villager and replace them with this. So the last time I did this video, by the way, because I did this like over a year ago, I separated all my amiibo by personalities and I kicked out each villager according to the personality. But um, in case you've forgotten, I have a very fat stack of amiibos. I am not in the mood to go through and sort these once again. So this time around, I think we're just going to go completely random. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. We are ignoring all the villagers. She was waiting by my house for as soon as I got out so that she can come talk to me. Uh, uh Phoebe, we need to avoid her at all costs. A barbell. How fitting. What a fitting recipe for you, Dom. I'm very, I need iron nuggets. Oh, dang it. We've hit a snag. It requires 10 iron nuggets and I only have four in my pockets. Do I have any in my storage though? No. Great, first snag of the video. I'm gonna have to find a way to get six whole iron nuggets so I can craft a stupid barbell for Dom. And of course it had to be on day three, by the way. Like, of course, the day where he'd be able to move in Dom just had to make my life difficult. Ugh, please just give me six iron nuggets. Oh, of course it's the, oh, <laughs> of course it's the money rock. Just give me, just give me six iron nuggets. Like I said, that was clay. Okay, <laughs> there's one iron nugget though. Okay, two iron nuggets. We can celebrate that. Oh, 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 this rock's gonna come through. Yep, this rock came through, gave us exactly the amount of iron nuggets we needed. Oh, and then some. We got an extra iron nugget from this rock. Okay, shout out to this rock right here. This rock's a G for that. That went a lot easier than I thought. We have officially made three recipes for Dom. I can't believe someone made something for me. It means a lot. I really wanna pay him back, but I don't have anything in D to do. You will if you move here. Oh my God, why am I like, threatening him. First of all, he already gave me something in return. He just gave me like a brand new outfit. And he's like, oh, I feel bad. I didn't pay them enough for this. Like, girl, move. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna tell him to move here to satisfy your thing. That's a weird dialogue. I don't know <laughs> in general, but sure, Dom, why don't you move here? Whoa, are you sure? I mean, living here would really help me take things to the next level after next. Okay, I'm in. I'll call resident service and work it out with them. And thank God that I'm doing this via Amiibo because yeah, um, first of all, <laughs> he's going to be able to move in. Oh, Oh, I just remembered something. All right, so my stupid ass still has an empty plot available to put down on the island because I said I was saving that for a future villager hunt. Well, I guess not. We're gonna have to put that plot down first before we start actually replacing villagers. So to the nine remaining villagers on Nook Tits right now, y'all can celebrate a little longer. You're gonna be here for at least three more days. Yes, who cares? Dom, you're gonna live right next to the plaza for the time being. This super cursed plot. 
I hope it suits you well, because as of right now, Dom's officially moving in. Now's a great time to admit that we still have beef. So this is going to be interesting to live with him for the time being. But with Dom officially moved in, we are moving on to the next round. So uh, that means shuffling this fat stack again in order to ensure that whoever we get remains random. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I should work at a casino with my shuffling skills. Oh, that wasn't even a bit. Oh my God, I genuinely did that. Cards shuffled enough. That's the card we're taking. And the villager that's moving in this round is... Who is it? Who is it? Oh. I'm just getting all my enemies today, huh? You big nasty bitch. How fucking dare you show your ass on my face right now? What? That's not the word. Oh, and look, she couldn't even be bothered to look at me. Like Miss Thing was just standing in a corner over here as soon as I walked in. Look, she's still not looking at me. Hello, I'm in your presence right now. Can you at least acknowledge me as the resident representative of this town? Like what? What? You're just so fucking perfect and busy you don't want to like look at me at all you're not even going to acknowledge the fact that i'm in here oh oh and now she's shoving me out of the way how dare you opal this island is simply stunning i i don't know what to say except thank you for inviting me shut up when i went camping as a young elephant with my family i loved toasting marshmallows over the fire i wasn't very patient so i usually burned them as one would expect of course it seems fitting because you're just so untalented at everything all you know how to do is burn marshmallows. Okay, what item? A bird bath. I mean, I guess, sure. It requires six stones, uh, which luckily I had a bunch in my inventory. So thank you, Opal, for not making my life too difficult this time around. I can respect that at least. I think just to make this whole mission a lot easier, I'm gonna try and grab like every single crafting material that I need. Like, let's just grab like two fat stacks of each just so that it's easy. You know, we don't have to go running back and forth. All right, the bird bath is crafted and ready to go. And luckily for me, that means I get to talk to Opal once again, hooray. <sighs> At least she's acknowledging my presence this time around. Ooh, did you finish crafting my fab souvenir? Be a deer and don't drag this out. First of all, I come back into the tent and you're not even gonna say hello. You're just gonna immediately jump to the point. I can actually respect that because I love when people are straightforward, but like be a deer and don't drag this out. I'm gonna drag this out for as long as I want right now. Cause clearly you have nowhere else to be. I know for a fact that you're jobless. I know for a fact that you have no hobbies since you decided to come here to begin with. Um, it'll be a, li a little longer, girl. A little bit longer until I can give it to you. I'll be waiting here for your for your masterpiece. Um, sure. And I'll be waiting right here until I feel like it's time to give it to you. Wonderful, simply wonderful. And it's so very authentic to this island. I promise to cherish my fabulous bird bath forever. Okay, girl, whatever you say. And you're giving me a football shirt? A football shirt? It better be a cute one, at least. <laughs> Please, please let it not be ugly. Ooh, okay. That isn't ugly. Okay, Opal, I'll give you that. I'll give you that for now. This thing is just always waiting, always waiting by my house. First thing every time I log in, just so she can walk by and grill me. Y'all saw that slow ass walk she did and that long ass stare. And she's just walking away like nothing. Oh, everybody's trying to fight me on this island today, uh huh? To be honest, darling, I wouldn't have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe to go without basic amenities. Weren't you just telling me the day before that you used to love camping as a kid? And now you're out here being like, I actually hate camping? Like stick to a story and you came yesterday. Like you could have just said no. And now you want an imperial pot? Imperial pot is first of all very fun to say, but of course she has to get the fancy kind of pot, which like, I don't blame her for that. But like the fact that she's actually making me do it and like she's rushing me to do it too. She's like, you need to give it to me by the end of the day. Like, do I look like I know how to do pottery? 
girl, what do I look like to you? Um, and it requires iron nuggets. What's the Imperial pot? Oh, she wants a wok. I thought the Imperial pot was like one of those pots that have like the fancy paint on it. Oh no, she wants a wok. Here we go once again though, with somebody requiring an item that requires iron nuggets. Just give me the three iron nuggets I require. It does not look like I'm getting a single iron nugget from this one. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, thank you. The bare minimum in spitting out one single iron nugget. Of course, of course. Okay, once again, this rock come. Oh, oh, okay. This rock coming in clutch once again. Next time I require iron nuggets, I'm coming straight to this one. The fact that I only needed like two or three and it gave me five. Shout out to that rock. That rock is a real one. The other two so far, I don't know them. I don't associate with those two flops. A snow globe. Ooh. Okay. That's a cute souvenir. Wait, Opal. Opal's like Loki coming in with the nice gifts. What's your game? What are you trying to accomplish with that? And she's just going to go walk and stare at a corner once again. Let's just stare at the corner with her. Oh, oh, and as soon as I join her, she decides to walk away. Just know that once Opal moves on to this island, hell will break loose. I will be giving her a hard time in order to ensure that she's the first villager to move off the island. And now she's standing in that corner once again. Miss Opal, welcome back. Oh my, did I keep you waiting? I couldn't wait to come here after getting your invite because she knows I'm about to give her another item for free. That's why she wanted to come back. It's important that one sets out on new travel adventures, whatever one can. It's the best way to see new things and meet new folks, not to mention find new places to shop. And the only reason why she came here Right there, she just said it so that she could take a nice thing home with her. Mm-hmm. And I- Oh. Oh, an iron wood dresser? An iron wood dresser? And you need it by the end of the day. No, Miss Thing is trying it. An iron wood dresser that requires iron and wood. Thankfully, I have a bunch of wood available to go. Oh, and I actually have enough iron nuggets as well. I was about to- I was- I- I really was about to complain. You know what? I'm going to complain again, though, because I'm about to waste all my iron nuggets on this build right here so that I can get Opal to move in. And just to make matters even worse, I'm about to give her this iron wood dresser. And in return, I'm asking Opal to move in. And now comes the most heartbreaking part of this video, having to replace one of our already existing villagers. We currently have nine. We have Snake, Phoebe, Cloud, Lucy, Puddles, Huck, Clay, Piper, and Maggie. We're gonna assign each of them a number from one to nine, and I am gonna ask Siri right here to pick a random number between those nine numbers. A random number between one and nine is seven. Oh my God, and my cursor was already on her. Oh my God. <laughs> No! It's just like Opal. She has to come in and knock out one of my faves right away. Maggie, is it? I can't believe we have to say goodbye to Maggie first. Oh. Where does she live again? Oh, hi, Vis. I mean, I meant to tell you before now, I just never found the right time. I'm moving to a new island tomorrow. Sorry to spring that on you like this. I'm really glad to have known you. I haven't spoken to you in two months, but I'm very glad to have known you too, Maggie. With the horror that is Miss Opal moving on to the island, we can move on and invite villager number three. The third villager that's moving in today is Wendy. Okay, I'll take Miss Wendy. I'm happy with that one. Finally, after two flops, we have an icon moving in. Wendy, I actually love Wendy a lot. She was one of my favorite villagers growing up. This is a fun surprise. Oh my God, that sounds um fun. That sounded shady. It was like she was trying to muster up the courage to say no, but she was like, no, I have to be nice to this kind stranger instead. I love how I'm already trying to pick a fight with her, even though I said she's one of my favorite villagers. And yet here I am, maybe I'm the toxic one, you know? Maybe this is just a me problem. Like I'm the one searching for drama and searching for fights. When in reality, these people are just trying to be friends with me. 
But that's boring, honestly. I think it's funnier to think that every single villager in the game just hates me. I feel like it's more entertaining that way. Oh, wow. Just right away. <laughs> She's so straightforward. <laughs> like, the other two villagers were like, you know what would make me really happy if somebody made me, no, this girl's right away. She's like, I want a log garden lounge. One conversation bubble. Shout out to you, Wendy. Shout out for just getting straight to the point. Cause like I said, I love when people are just straightforward and blunt with me. Miss Thing knows what she wants. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the log garden lounge actually requires. I think it's just hardwood. Oh yes, hell yeah. Okay, we could do this right away. Keeping things straightforward as I like it. Here, take this present, a garbage bin. Oh my God, she's giving me a waste bin. Is she trying to call me a waste man? With my blood, sweat and tears, I give to you a log garden lounge and in return, you just give me a trash can. A trash can, Wendy? Really? Just when I thought things were going so well between us. You had to come in with that. Wow. Wow, Wendy. Wow. I don't know what I can say to you right now. Ooh, but she... It's actually a nice color, though. This black one. I haven't seen that one in a minute. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I just completely forgot that Opal hadn't moved in yet. And um, now she's here. So we could head on over to Opal's place and say hello and give her an official welcome in. But we have more important things to do. So I think we should just go on with that. Sorry to any Opal stands, but like I literally dedicated a video title and thumbnail to the fact that I hate Opal. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody at this point. <laughs> My hatred towards this green elephant. And I will say like people, it's so funny. Like as an older player, ugh, every time I talk about like certain villagers that I hate and then people are like, why do you hate that villager though? She's so cute. And it's like, that's just, it just goes to show the divide between like the older players and the new players, huh? I feel like in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you know, it just comes from the fact that this game is so like design oriented and aesthetics based and like the dialogue in this game is so stale and boring. The dialogue is repetitive in every Animal Crossing game, but like, you know, in this game, it's just so two dimensional at certain points that like it just gets stale quicker. There are some fun quips here and there that I like. Oh my God. First of all, Miss Lucy, <laughs> she wants to talk to me and girl, I I, I can't talk to you right now. Nah, because Miss Thing has a flea on her. You poor thing, a flea on me. I'm embarrassed yet to see that, but thanks for your help. I had to help her out. I said I wasn't gonna talk to them, but like, Lucy's my girl, okay? I can't do her dirty. Uh-uh. I think it also just comes from the fact that in this game, there's just so much more choice and freedom for players to the point where like, you're literally able to choose every single villager that moves onto your island, right? Because you can go on villager hunts aside from your two starting villagers and your campsite. Like those are the only two times you don't have a choice. The fact that you're able to just easily replace them later on, whether it be through amiibo or just time traveling a bunch or ignoring the villager. And then once they move out, you're able to go villager hunting or scanning in an amiibo to just have whoever you want. Like, you can't do that in the older games. You know, to some people, they might think, oh, that sounds so bad, the fact that you can't choose who lives on your island. But to me, like, that's more fun <laughs> because then it leads to things like the fact that I have so much hatred towards this cute green elephant. Yeah, she's cute and fun. And like, I don't hate her for her looks, I would never, that's weird. I had her in City Folk, she was an autofill that just randomly moved in. And like the dialogue back then used to be so good that like I actually just hated her because she was just straight up mean to me and she never warmed up to me. And like, she was just so rude. And I was only eight years old at the time too. Like Miss Thing clearly had issues and those issues never left. And even though it's been almost 10 years since I played City Folk, I still have a hatred towards her. And I feel like if you ask any older Animal Crossing player, like anyone who's played New Leaf or like City Folk or whatever, or just any of the older games. Like, I feel like most of us have that one random villager that we just dislike for no reason. Like for me, it's Opal or I have Lopez, even Rodney. A lot of people don't like Rodney 
but that's because they think they they think he's ugly me personally i don't think he's ugly and also he's blue i love blue it's one of my favorite colors i just hate him because he did me so so dirty in new leaf the fact that he moved in right in front of my retail so i just completely ignored him and started being an ass towards him because i wanted him to leave my island so that my retail would open up again and then the time came, he asked me, hey, is it all right if I moved out? And this had happened like only a week after he moved in. So I was like, oh my God, <laughs> was this meant to be? Is Rodney finally leaving? And then he was like, oh, I can't believe you're so willing to let me go right away. And then he's like, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving if you just hate me. And I was like, uh-uh from then on forth that's the reason why i hate rodney and it's like you just can't get shit like that in new horizons you know because in new horizons it's like every single time they ask you to leave they just leave <laughs> and then you're able to just go and choose someone to replace and then that's why most people end up just going based on aesthetics because like i said the dialogue in this game is quite stale for most people as much as i do love villager hunting and having more freedom to choose your villagers in the long run it does low-key ruin the game in a way like i don't know there's just like once you find all the villagers that you want on your island and the fact that you're able to just not replace them like if they ask to move out you can just say no and they stay on your island forever it's like where's the fun in that you know i feel like for a lot of players like the typical animal crossing experience comes from the villagers and just having a bunch of villagers moving in and moving out it makes the game more fun i feel like that's why i kind of wanted to do this video like this is a completely random video like i have no choice in who's moving onto my island and it just makes the game a lot more exciting and that's why like i said on this island specifically as well every time a villager asks to move out i'm just gonna let them go so that way you know a new villager moves in and it'll keep things spicy. And it's funny that I'm saying this because I have another island, <laughs> you know, my personal island where like I've had the same 10 villagers for like over a year now, but at least those villagers are fun, okay? And I didn't just pick those villagers based on their aesthetics. I picked them based on the drama that they provide for my YouTube videos and stuff. And like, yeah, that island as well, like, I didn't go in with a set dreamies list aside from like Wolfgang and Doby. Those were the only two villagers that I was really sought after. Everybody else that moved in just kind of happened. Like Whitney, Margie, Agnes, I didn't expect them to move in. They just moved in and they've been on the island ever since. And I loved them for that. In conclusion, in my opinion, at least picking villagers based on aesthetics alone is boring. Miss Wendy is coming in on day three and hopefully she gives us another easy recipe so that we can just move her in right away and replace another villager. What is up with this girl wanting wooden furniture? First it was a wooden, a log lounge chair, and then she wanted a log dining table, and now she wants a wooden stool. What do you, what is your obsession with wood? Oh my god, she's just like me for real. Shout out to Wood. I'm set at a wooden desk. There's a wooden shelf behind me. My bed's made out of wood. I have a wooden TV stand. Wooden furniture and wood in general. Yes, that's the best kind. And thankfully, I have enough wood to craft this wooden stool. So yay. <laughs> We could move Wendy in right away. So this time around, we have only eight original villagers. So I'm going to ask Siri to pick a number from one to eight. Oh, I thought he was going to say it. He said three. <laughs> okay, damn. Number three is Cloud, though. Cloud, Claude. Oh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know he lived on this island. I completely forgot about him. So I actually don't feel bad about replacing him. Sorry, everything's so messy. I'm packing up to move. Oh, right. I didn't tell you yet. I'm moving tomorrow. I don't know where I'm going to go yet, but I guess I'm going to find out. Oh my God, this poor man. I literally evicted him. I evicted him off the island. He has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. <laughs> He's going to be trapped in the void for a really long time. But at least I can have Wendy live on the island. Like, that's an exciting thing to look forward to. I have the fourth card right here. I didn't look at it, I promise. And the villager moving in is Snake. Uh, okay, he already lives on the island. Um, 
So we're going to disregard that because we're trying to get some new faces. I'm just going to do a quick shuffle once again, just to make things super duper random real quick. I'm so good at shuffling cards. Villager number four is Faith. Who the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Not me completely forgetting who Faith was. <gasps> I'm so sorry to the Faith stands if y'all exist, but um... You know what? Sure. I just realized the reason why her face looks like that. Is that supposed to be a sunburn? Is that what that whole vibe is representing? Like she only put sunscreen on her face and hands and didn't put it anywhere else. Did I crack the code for why Faith looks like that? Because this entire time I thought it was a human skin mask. But, you know, considering that this is Animal Crossing, um... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the former. That's the reason for her design, especially given the tropical vibes. It was seriously rad of you to invite me out here, thanks. Wait, I thought she was a normal villager. Did normal villagers say rad? A wooden block bench. Okay, we're continuing with the wooden trend. I think the wooden block bench requires a lot of soft wood and it also requires the wooden block toy. There is a plane outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It is so loud. I never understood that. Why the wooden block furniture required the toy in order to create it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like especially like what are we using the blocks to make the bench? I mean, it is called a wooden block bench and a wooden block dresser. How are we turning those tiny ass blocks into a whole bench. And that's not even the weird one. The stereo. How are we turning those blocks into electricity? Oh my God, it's pouring rain outside <laughs> in the game right now. That's so jarring. I forgot how dark the game gets in the rain. Faith is coming back to the island once again. Hooray. She's really not a villager that I'm like super excited to have on the island. So I don't know, this is kind of the first dud of the video because even with Opal and Dom, like sure I have personal beef against them, but like that's more exciting than a villager that I just have no like anything towards. It should be exciting though. The fact that I've never had her and I've never really thought about her before, it opens up the possibility of something brand new you know she could be an enemy she could be a bestie she could be like the worst villager i've ever gotten you don't know that for sure like that could happen also now that it's officially march in game the autumn weeds have spawned because i'm playing in a southern hemisphere island Ooh, that's exciting oh my god i just realized too in northern hemisphere islands the snow is officially melted and that's the same on fallbrook Ooh. Fallbrook's gonna be fun to return to now that the snow's all gone. A shell stool? Damn it, this is the first like weird crafting item. It requires a specific shell, right? Not just like any shell in the game. You have to use, I think like a clam or something. Hold on. Five? Ah, <laughs> I thought it was just one. Faith, Miss Faith, how dare you? How dare you? Now I have to go scouring for five. Do five of them even spawn on one beach? They better. Oh crap. Please tell me this is a cowrie. No, it's a sea snail. Of course it is. Um, That's coral. This is a sand dollar. We have a bottle on the beach though. Speaking of recipes, we're about to get another one from Sly. How fun, giving me the simple DIY work. Isn't that the one you get? like at the start of the game. Why is this a recipe you get from villagers? Why am I, why are there only sea snails? Sea snails, like hello? <laughs> These are not what I want right now. I want cowrie shells. Did all the snails just decide to come to our island today? Why? Why? I don't want any of them here. I want cowries. Is this a cowrie? No, it's another sea snail. Oh, this is, a, oh, these are the cowries, oh. Okay, we gotta go back. Wait, I think I ran past a bunch of those. Hold on. <laughs> no, I didn't. Never mind. We might be in for some trouble as of right now because so far I've already gone through half of my beaches and only gotten one cowrie shell. So, Miss Faith, Miss Faith, how dare you give me trouble on this fine day? Here, okay, we got a second cowrie. We only need three more. There's another one up here. Please be a cowrie shell. No, it's a giant clam. That's another giant clam. 
Uh, oh God, how do I even get over there? Please let this be a cowrie. It's a sand dollar, excuse me. That's not what I'm looking for. Are there any cowrie shells up here? There's two that look like them. Are they? Oop, that's a cowrie. And that's a cowrie. Okay, we got two more. I have four and I need five. And that was the last of the shells on this island as of right now. Faith, you're now on my list. I said it already that she was a blank slate in terms of relationship, but so far, Faith, it's not off to a good start for you, babes. We need to find a way to get some more shells. I guess we could just head to a cabin island. I mean, yeah, I have enough miles to do so. I actually haven't done a cabin island yet on this save. I don't think so. That means I'm about to sit through some tutorial. Yay. Now, what do we have here? Yours be a face, shut up. Ooh, the rain cleared up on this island. That's fun. Um, I am seeing some mums and some bushes. Those would be fun to pick up, but I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Cowrie shells and a bottle. There's a bottle here. Ooh, please let this be a good one. I, I don't have high hopes after seeing that name. Ooh, never mind. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> a flop villager coming through with a good recipe. Open wooded shelves. Okay. Yeah, those are really good. It's literally the Ikea shelf. Oh my God, that I have right behind me. Wow, hippo. That seems weird that you gave me something that's in my actual house. How do you know that? Are there any cowrie shells here? Uh, please let this be. Okay, thank God. We only got one cowrie from the shell, but that's more than good enough, babes. We can head back home now and actually get this damn shell stool crafted for Miss Faith, who, by the way, is still a villager that I don't really care about. The fact that I'm giving all this effort towards her, she better be grateful. It's actually kind of fitting that Faith, given her tropical theme, asked for a shell related recipe. <laughs> Like, that's It even smells like nook tits. What the hell do nook tits smell like? And how would you know? An iron shelf. Of course. Of course. Just when I thought things were going well for us, she's asking for an iron nugget recipe. I guess I already have the recipe in my inventory because she didn't give it to me. How many iron nuggets does it require? Of course it does. Of course it's 14. And if we're gonna be searching for iron nuggets today, please, this rock so far hasn't done me dirty. It better continue that trend right here, right now. I swear to God, if you do me dirty this time around, I'm gonna break you. Oh, oh. Wow, Rocky, I thought you and I had something going. The fact that you were willing to give me iron nuggets and the one time I needed many, many iron nuggets, you don't come through and you decide to be the money rock for the day. I am a man of my word and I said I was gonna break it if it didn't give me any iron nuggets. So with that, bam, I'm sorry. You can't cross me, okay? I swear to God, that's what we're doing today. If these rocks don't wanna give me these iron nuggets, they're just gonna go goodbye. Are you gonna give me iron nuggets now that you saw what I did to your friend? <laughs> Wait, why did it give me? Oh my God, why is it actually giving me iron nuggets? What? <laughs> exactly though, exactly. It saw, it saw. Where's that other little bitch of a rock? Where are you? Hold on, right over here. And of course it's right next to another bitch. You saw what I did to your friend, you saw. So you better give me what I expect you to give me as well. Oh, okay, it's giving me iron nuggets. As long as it gives me iron nuggets, I can't be mad. All right, we got four from this one and I think we got four from the last one, so nine. Okay, I got five from the last one. So I need five more. And I actually have no idea where the rest of my rocks are on this island. So let's go searching for that, shall we? Uh, real quick though, slingshot coming in. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I already crafted this iron shelf when I was going for my three star grind. I just took this in because I had the recipe already. Oh my God, yes, it's right here, right behind Phoebe's house, oh. Well, that makes my life easier. <laughs> I already had a, I already had an iron shelf displayed and ready to go. So there was, there was no need for me to 
um, break that rock. That disappointed me. I get <laughs> Why did she give me a whole ass stove for giving her that iron shelf? Oh my God, Faith. Wait, you're actually kind of a real one for that. I love when bitches give me stoves and appliances in general as gifts. And this time around, there's only seven villagers left to choose from. So you know the drill. A random number between one and seven is six. That means we have to say goodbye to Miss Piper. Oh dear. So you think I should bug Piper about moving out? Piper, no. <laughs> Once again, though, I kind of forgot that she actually lived on this island. Thank glitter bombs you're here. I decided to move off this island. Sorry to bolt, but I couldn't find the right time to tell you. So anywho, I'm packing to move. Thanks for kicking it with me. Girl, we haven't kicked it in like two months, so. I thank you for your hospitality, but it's time we give you the boot. You know what? I think to shake things up for villager number five, fun fact about me, I also happen to have some Sanrio emotes. Emotes? There's only six of them, as we all know. So I think for this round, to spice things up, let's just shuffle these six cards accordingly. It's actually a lot harder to shuffle six cards, so oop, I don't know how to do this. Hold on. This one right on top of the pack will be scanned in in three two one chai Ooh, chai's a fun one okay i'll take that why don't we i look you wanted marty chai's a fun one we'll take her instead miss camp legend right here with the fucking teapot on her head that's a cup a wooden full-length mirror made on this island what do you think that would look like um Probably like yourself, considering it's a mirror. Okay, so I have the recipe for the wooden length mirror. So I think that means I already have one crafted as well, because every recipe I got before hitting three stars, I crafted it right away so that it could hit three stars right away, pro tip. No, oh yeah, I did. Okay, but I have enough, I have enough materials to craft one. It's okay, let's just craft another one. <laughs> oh, it's right here, please. Give me a recipe, a boxed shape seat. Um, what even is that? Is that not like one of those couches? What does that even look like? It requires wood. Oh, it's like, oh, it's those stool things. Why am I questioning the names of things? Things are named for the reason that they're named. Like, <laughs> Who cares? Let's just craft it and give it to her. I have more than enough wood needed. I love, by the way, that like her headpiece, she has so much detail. The fact that there's literally chai. Is it chai? Because chai isn't that bright, is it? Chai is more like, br like a lighter brown than a dark brown. But I still love that there's actually a drink in that cup of hers. Like if she came onto the runway of Drag Race stunting in this outfit right here with that headpiece specifically, Oh, you know RuPaul would live for it. Yes, she would. And look at me with these star shades Miss Chai gave me. Thank you. A shell, but oh, here we go again with the freaking shells. Are you kidding me? And this is an even more complex one. The shell bed. Chai, 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 here we go again. Oh, please let this be an easier one. I don't even know what the shell bed asks for. A giant, oh. Only five giant clam. Okay, I thought it would be way more than that. That's fine by me. Um, it makes me wish that I picked up all those giant clam that I ran into the other day, but hopefully there'll be some lying around. And if not, we can just head to another Cap'n Island. That's a sand dollar. This is a bottle though. Who do we think this bottle's from? Maybe this bottle will be a sign of good fortune. It's Mitzi. Mitzi's a cutie. And she's giving me something that I don't already have. So celebrate that. We shall. Mm-hmm. Now on the hunt for some giant clam. I need five of them specifically. So game, please don't disappoint me. <laughs> That's all I ask. This is a giant clam. Okay, there's one. One so far. Two. Three. Ooh, we're actually getting pretty lucky. Hold on, what's that one over there? Is this a giant clam? No, it's a sand dollar. I did all that for a freaking sand dollar. Hell no. We got three giant clams, so you know what that means. Here we are on another cabin island. There's a bunch of carrots everywhere. 
I don't care. We're here for giant clam. Is this a giant clam? No, it's a cowrie. Okay, Kevin, I see you. You would help me out last time, but not this time. I thought we had a better relationship than that. Oh my God. Is there really only none? Not a single one? Are you kidding me? I still need two more. Uh-uh, don't piss me off today, game. How freaking dare you? I'm not even gonna catch that or pick up that bottle. Cap'n, I trusted you. I trusted you. I thought you were better than that. You actually see where you're headed. You knew that I was coming out here for some giant clam and you just decided to do this. Now I have to spend even more Nook Miles on a freaking ticket so that we can go hunting. And here we are on island number one. <laughs> <laughs> and this time around, instead of looking for freaking villagers, we're looking for shells. It's a money rock island. I would love to spend some time getting some coin, but baby, we're here for business. And there's not a single shell on this side of the beach. There's one and it's a sand dollar. Here's another one. And it's Island number two. The fact that I'm doing all this and it's not even for a villager hunt, like, ugh, so sad indeed. But please, at least let there be some giant clams. All right, we got one giant clam. And we have another one right over here. Oh my God. For all this effort, you couldn't give me two. Like you think the game's program would understand right now, considering that Chai is at home waiting for a clam bed, which requires five giant clam. And the game already knows that there were only three giant clams at my island. And now here I am going to Nook Mile Islands, which are normally done in order to get crafting materials. You think this game would realize by now that I'm doing this to get the fucking giant clams. Nintendo. Island number three. Please let there be a freaking giant clam on here. I would love to get excited over the fact that this is a sister sister fruit island, but not. -uh. Is this a giant? No, that's a sand dollar. And there's no other shells on that side of the freaking island. Are there any on this side of the island? Please, please, please. Oh, there's one over there. Oh my God, please, please. <laughs> Please, Nintendo, don't do me dirty like this three islands in a row. I don't even care anymore. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Freaking shells. Shells. Just shells. Like, the most mundane thing in the game. Like, nobody gives a fuck about them. You know, I just want a giant clam. I didn't think I was going to be spending this many Nook Miles in this video. Like, this is the reason why I opted to do Amiibos instead of getting Nook Miles tickets and just spamming Nook Miles Islands. But no, here I am doing exactly that for a fucking giant clam that isn't even on this beach. This is the final island of the day. If there's no giant clams on this island, I... I'm probably screwed. I'm probably just, I'm gonna have to time travel to the next day scanner in and then do this whole thing again with a different recipe. Please, there's two of these right here and neither of them are a giant clam. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kid? Like, <laughs> I would love to just, you know, stop the plan and just invite a completely brand new villager instead but no i've committed to chai this is the third and final day like i might as well just scan her in one more time get a better recipe and hopefully hopefully a recipe that i'm able to craft and go on from there and i'm realizing right now that it just wasted thirteen thousand nook miles for a villager who i hate at this point a birdhouse okay a birdhouse is doable a birdhouse is totally doable it's something that i've already made like i said so you know i'm realizing once again that i could have just time traveled to the next day instead of going through the trenches to look for five giant clams let that be a life lesson to any viewers watching you know know your worth don't waste your damn time doing things when there are better things you could be doing if you just take a different path this time around there are only six villagers remaining oh again okay <gasps> 
He said six. Just when things couldn't get even worse, they just had to. My favorite villager on the island. Chai, you nasty, rotted, bad word that I can't say on YouTube without getting demonetized. So not only did you make me run around multiple islands to get a freaking giant clam that I just couldn't find, only for you to give me an easier item next day. You had to kick out my best friend on the island who I haven't spoken to in two months, but he's still my best friend because I love him dearly. Even though I was gonna have to do that anyways, but the fact that I have to replace him with Chai of all villagers, I would rather replace him with Opal. I would. Opal would have been fine, but Chai, mm -mm, Chai, you're moving up my list slowly with this behavior of yours, babes. I can't, I can't lie. You know what's even worse? You know what's even worse? To make matters worse, you know where Clay's house was on the island? Boom, right front and center, right in front of the freaking airport. Now, if I decide to have my friends visit this island or just visitors in general come to this island, like if Label comes to the island, the first thing she has to see is Chai's house and Chai's nasty ass, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't sense good things from this island for going forward as long as Chai is on this island. Chai and I officially have beef. Sorry to any Chai stance, but honestly, I just don't care. And the sixth villager that we're scanning in today is... It's not working. Hello? Oh! That's a win. That's a win. That's my baby. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes, I'm inviting him. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I know lots of ways to say hi. So you call the right guy for a greeting. Let's see. Hola, salut, ciao, and ni hao, alan, guten tag, anyang, konnichiwa, saluton, namaste. Oh my god. Wow, Bones, I didn't know you were so worldly. I'm impressed. That's so smug, Villager Kode. That's why I'm so surprised he's saying this, because he's a lazy villager. Isn't it usually the smugs that are always speaking in other languages? Bones, I think, was like one of the first amiibos I ever got back in like, I want to say 2017 or 18. This was like during the New Leaf era. I bought an amiibo pack after the Welcome Amiibo update and he was in the first pack. How cute, how fun that we get to see him on screen today. Hello to my baby. Oh my God, the color scheme of his camping equipment, by the way, top tier, I respect. I've been really wanting to see something made on this island, like a matryoshka, ooh. What a cultured man, I love that. He's sticking to this cultured narrative. Ever since I kicked him off whatever last island or town I had him in, this man has been traveling the world, huh? He knows how to say hello in multiple languages and now he's asking for a matryoshka, like he just had a recipe for it in his pockets ready to go. Wanna hear a story? I'll tell you a story. The story goes like this. One day, someone from Nook Tits thought matryoshka, and then they ran to a DIY bench and made their thought into a thing, period. What a poet. I don't know if that story's true, but man, it's inspiring. And he's giving me a chalkboard. Ooh, he just had a chalkboard up his ass. It is now March 8th. And today is a dark day for Nook Tits as a whole. Not only is it currently raining, even though it does look very pretty, but we have a new neighbor, one whom I'm not excited to see. And I especially hate that they're now right in front of the airport. It's the first thing you see as soon as you walk in. Hey, it's Viz. Haven't seen your face since the campsite. Well, as of today, Nook Tits has its first celebrity. I love your ego and how inflated it is if you assume you're the first. <laughs> Not even if you're the first celebrity, if you're just a celebrity point blank. Because uh, last I checked, I don't know who you are. Nobody on this island knows who you are. Take several seats and realize who you're speaking to. The only celebrity right now on this island, it's me. Can't you tell by my star shades? Man, I've been really wanting a water pump. Yesterday, he just asked for a cute little Russian doll, a matryoshka. And today he wants a whole ass water pump. He got too comfortable real quick that he's now asking for like things that he's always wanted. A water pump, a whole water pump. I have just enough iron nuggets and clay to do this. So let me just craft it real quick and hand it back to Bones and then let's see something. He was so honored that I built him a water pump that he had it installed in the campsite. 
and there's li <laughs> it literally works. Oh my God, I'm getting water all over his radio. And on the third and final day, Bones is asking for a clacker cart. That's actually a really cute item. So I'm happy to get that recipe, but I love that he's going back down to keeping it simple. He realized yesterday that, you know, the water pump was a little too complex. And obviously Bones is trying to get on my good side as well, because, you know, he's just so interested in living on this island. That's why he keeps coming back. So like he has to keep things simple. But with that, I have immediately made the clacker cart. It was quite a simple item to make. Here you go, Bones. Bones, and now comes for the complicated part once again. A random number between one and five is four. Four. Oh, puddles. Oh, no. This is not the frog that I wanted to kick out first, but it has to happen. Poor girl. Like, she was just minding her business, living her life. It's like seven in the morning on the island right now. Imagine waking up at seven in the morning to some random person who visited the island for fun and they come up to you and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna replace you. You need to move out by tomorrow. I'm saying that like it's a joke, but like, I'm pretty sure that actually happens to people like in real life, especially if you're a renter. Oh my God. Thank glitter bombs you're here. I decided to move off this island. Sorry to bolt, but I couldn't find the right time to tell you. So anywho, I'm packing a move. Thanks for kicking it with me. I'll never forget you, Vis. I'll probably forget about you by the next week, but. It was nice having you for the time being. Ah, uh, it's another brand new day on the island. And you know what that means. The seventh villager moving on to the island today is Hippie. Oh my God. <laughs> Not Miss Pippi. My Pippi queen. Oh my God. I'm calling her piss baby for the entire time she's here. I don't give a fuck. And it doesn't help that she's yellow. <laughs> She's literally piss colored. The piss core allegations, they're gonna start up soon as soon as I post this video, aren't they? The air here on Nook Tits meshes real well with me. For real, this is great air. Is it so good it makes you wanna pee? A boxed shaped seat, another one. Didn't I just make one? I just made one the other day and now I'm getting a duplicate from a campsite. I thought it would give me another recipe, but whatever. At least I know how to make one now, so. This should be a piece of cake. Yeah, it literally was a piece of cake. I did that right away. Oh my gosh, seriously, thank you so much. I'm so happy right now. Oh my God, she cries pee too. That's so real. Take this Prezi as a thanks, a knit hat. I make you a stool with my bare hands out of wood and you just give me a hat that you bought from the store. I mean, I guess, sure. Uh, what? What do you want? Being able to rock a fab smile, major life skill. Check this out. Boom, smiles. Girl, you don't even have a mouth on this side. Come to think of it, this smile with me. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Smile with you. No, I hate when people tell you to smile. I hate that. Like, why does my face bother you so much? Just the way it is. This is just how I look naturally. Does my face make you uncomfortable? That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. It's now day two with Miss Urine here on the island. But before we go talk to her once again, there's something more important that we need to do. Welcome to day one at Bones' house. Thanks for inviting me to this island back at the campsite. It's thanks to you that my home is here now. I want to hurry up and explore Nook Tits, but I got to unpack first. I'm realizing right now the the last island I had him on was Windle, aka the first island that I ever had on this channel. So what a cute throwback. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I had him on temporarily because I wanted to kick a villager out. So I just scanned his amiibo in and used him to replace them. Um, and then I think after he moved out, I found Goldie, I want to say. I don't remember. It's been almost four years since I've had that island. A log garden lounge. Oh, oh, good to know that Miss Pippi over here. Miss Thing is so unoriginal. She's just asking for things that people already got. She heard through the grapevine that Wendy got a log garden lounge and whoever asked for the box shaped seat, they got one too. And she's like, I'm just gonna ask for those because she's not creative enough to get her own requests, clearly. I'm out here complaining that she's being unoriginal, but like, 
I think this is a good thing in a way because these are things that I know I'm able to craft and they have been fairly easy recipes so we can speed along through this. But at the same time, Miss Pippi, like nine times out of 10, people will scan Amiibos in just so they can get brand new recipes. Can you do your share and give me a brand new recipe tomorrow? A wooden box. Okay, at least it's a brand new recipe. Still fairly boring, um, Pippi. I thought you would be a lot more creative. Ooh, the wooden box recipe. Wait, I just dragged her for saying that that's a boring one. But like, I actually want this recipe for Fallbrook. It's kind of funny that I got one on this island before that one. Interesting. I actually like the wooden boxes a lot in this game. I don't know. There's just something about those simple items. The ones that you're able to just place around your island everywhere, like more than one of them. Those recipes, honestly, I prefer just because like, again, there's actual purpose to crafting them. Whereas like something unique like this, this kettle bathtub. When the hell am I going to need that on the daily? I would rather buy one from Nook's Cranny than craft it. Or like the pearl bed, the shell bed, the tree's bounty lamp, the holiday items. Being able to craft those, not a fan. But the box shape seat, this rocking chair, um, you know, the wooden box that I just showed, tools like those being craftable, those make sense. I'm a fan of that. I have this fab souvenir to always remember Nook Tits and how sweet everyone here is. Did you go around and talk to people already? I haven't seen you leave the tent yet. I don't want to go home and remember. <laughs> you just don't want to remember things point blank? That's what that sounds like. I don't want to go home and remember. I want to stay here and forget everything. So that's exactly what you're gonna do. Cause I know for a damn fact that your head is just full of pee, Miss Pippi. A random number between one and four is three. Oh my God, by the skin of his teeth once again, Huck avoided an eviction. And sadly, <laughs> sadly we have to say goodbye to Lucy. Oh no, not Lucy. I meant to tell you before now, but I never found the right time. I'm moving to a new island tomorrow. Sorry to spring that on you like this. I'm really glad to have known you. Wish me luck on my new adventure. Lucy, I'm so sad to let you go, but if I had to leave you with some words of wisdom, live, laugh, love, and let loose, girl. Be a star on your brand new island and make sure you win every single mini challenge while you're there. I've shuffled the cards once again, and villager number eight moving on to the island is... Mar... Oh, that's not... Hi, oh, Marlo here. Nice to get a call. I'm guessing you need something, am I right? Campsite, eh? It's so sudden, but why not? I got no other plans, Gabish. Not Mr. Marlo. The one villager who I'm afraid of, because I know that if he tries it with me and I respond to him at any caliber, he's just gonna shoot me. Like, I know this man is packing a gun. Here's the man himself, sat right front and center, you tiny thing. I could literally, oh my God, look how short he is. His poor neck, <laughs> his poor neck. Oh my God, he has to look all the way up to look at my face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Somebody invested some stilts for this poor man. You know what made me happy? A gong. I thought it said something else at first. Imagine if he had asked for something that rhymed with gong. Just saying, but okay. He just wants a whole ass gong. Where is he going to fit it once he leaves? Is he going to shove it up his ass too? As a thank you, I want you to have my tiny party cap. He calls it a tiny party cap, but in reality, this party cap is regular sized on him. It's tiny for me, but if it was on his head, it'd be normal sized. Oh, Marlo, you don't have to dumb yourself down for me. You know what? Let's continue the trend. Oh my God, I'm literally twinning with him. The tiny shades. <laughs> Me and Bay. You know what make me happy? A kettle bathtub. Um, is that not literally the recipe I was just talking shit about the other minute? He heard me. He heard me telepathically talking shit, being like, I'm not gonna need it. Why, why would I craft it? And now of course he wants me to craft one. You didn't hear this from me, but I am low key afraid of Marlo because like I said, I'm pretty sure he has a gun up his ass. So for the sake of my sanity and health, Let's just craft one for him. 
and give him exactly what he wants, you know, just to make sure that we're all happy. Like I said, really not that difficult because I have not enough iron nuggets to do this. Oh, I require seven iron nuggets in order to craft this recipe. And I have this rock right over here. It's been sitting nice and peacefully. If you love me, you would give me exactly what I want. Okay, it loves me not the way I want it to, but it's good enough. I got three iron nuggets from that one, so we only need four going forward. You know, this rock from the other days, it saw what I did to its friend. So let's hope that energy stays. And please give me four iron nuggets. Two, three, four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The energy stays with this rock and this rock lives to see another day. I spent a very long time creating you this Kello bathtub. And what are you gonna give me in return, Marlo? Now it's my turn. Here, I got you a suit with stand-up collar. He got me a suit. Can't believe you'd go so far out of your way for a stranger. You folks are so nice. Your kindness might just backfire and make me wanna come back here. Oh, something tells me me i'm making a mistake <gasps> this is what people wear when they rob banks marlo what do you want me to do Ugh. what do you want once again hey you like reactions right watch this And he does it again. He does it again. Have you no decorum? Have you no shame? Have you no brain? Who the fuck raised you to go around? The fact that he literally called me over just to sneeze in my face. You look like the inside of a fish and you're out here acting like this and you're just gonna go running around Naruto running all over the place like you didn't just spread germs. Girl, bam. Like, I, I can't with you. You clearly, I don't condone spanking your children, but in this behavior specifically as a grown ass adult, uh-uh, you deserve that. You know what would make me happy? A standard umbrella stand. What is this weird array of items that Marlo wants me to make for him? Like first he wanted a gong and then he wanted a kettle bathtub. And now he just wants an umbrella stand. He went from the most complex shit you can ask for to something that's literally standard and basic. I love that. But I'm realizing something right now. Yeah, it requires iron nuggets. All right, we need three iron nuggets. And this rock has graciously given me three iron nuggets. Okay, once again, this rock coming in clutch. Warrior armor? Is this like code for him to let me know that I'm officially a part of his mafia gang now? He's gonna send me out to battle? Who am I supposed to fight for him? If this is how it is, putting down roots here might not be a bad idea at all. I, I don't know if it's a good idea to invite him onto this island, dude. I kind of fear for myself right now. Oh my God. This is what I'm gonna have to wear when I go rob the Nook Twins, aren't I? In order for him to live here, we're gonna have to take out another villager. And I fear that this time, we're gonna have to take them out in a completely different way. Oh God, there's three villagers to choose from. Snake, BB, and Huck. Oh my God, he picked number three. That means we get to kill off Huck. I'm okay with that, baby. <laughs> Happy to resort success with my Huck chat. Operation move in as a go. Oh my God, you killed him? Seems Huck was planning on sailing for distant shores soon anyway, so I could move right in. Hmm, that's exactly what he did. Yeah, sure. Huck was planning to leave the island, totally. But according to my sources, Huck is still on the island. Marlo hasn't done what he said he was going to do yet. So I guess it's safe for us to, you know, maybe go and give Huck a warning and let him know what's coming for him. Or we can just move on. 
Yeah, you get the gist. And the ninth villager moving on to the island is Francine. Ooh, we have half of the KK Bubblegum duo moving on to Nook Tits. How iconic. I'm going to be honest, I actually forgot that I had her amiibo. So I am more than pleased to see this lovely queen right here. Yes, I am. Hi, Miss Francine. How's it going? I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for inviting me to your fabulous island, Carrot. Seeing as how I came all this way, I can't help but think it would be nice to take something home with me. Something unique to impress my friends. I've got it. How about a pond stone? Ooh. What a fancy item you're requesting me. I think I have just enough stones to make this pond stone. I don't know, what do y'all think? Pond stone is acquired and in return, Francine's giving me a helmet. <laughs> I mean, sure, you can never be more safe and prepared no matter what. So I will gladly accept a helmet from Francine. She's saying the exact same thing she said yesterday, but this time, she wants a project table. My face is in the way, but whatever it is, I have more than enough materials needed, so we might as well just craft it. Okay, my face is no longer in the way. It's this item. It's another recipe I wish I had over on Fallbrook, which is so funny because I've had that island for like almost three years now, and I don't recognize half the recipes that I've been getting today. It's crazy how long I've had that island, and yet I'm still <laughs> missing I feel like so many recipes in the game and she's giving me a flashy cardigan ooh flash ooh that's a fun outfit interesting I accept this Francine thank you today is Dom's birthday oh well I guess before we you know scan in Francine and officially invite her onto the island it's only fair that we um, be nice enough to our villager our brand new resident on the island and celebrate his birthday with them. I mean we could head on over to Abel Sisters or something and see but as you can see I have a ton of items lying around my island so we don't really need to do any shopping today don't we we can just like walk around and see if there's anything cute enough to give to dom i feel like this joy con ring might actually be a really nice gift very fitting for dom as a jock but dom and i currently have beef and that beef is very strong as of right now if you missed you know what happened a couple of minutes ago so i think as a perfect gift for dom we are going to give him the warrior armor that Marlo gave to me. You know, just so that if Marlo has any ideas and he comes to me, I can be like, no, I'm sorry. But Dom is willing to do them because he has the warrior armor. I don't know how it got into his possession, but, you know, go ask Dom. Go bother Dom. Go make Dom do all your crimes for you. Oh, okay. I literally forgot that <laughs> i literally forgot that faith was one of the villagers we moved in today oh my god this hey there you how are things so yeah nook tits i'm a native now if you ever want to hang out i'm never far but that's not important right now what is important is that it's totally dom's birthday that means it's time to party i am so sorry for completely forgetting about you but like hi girl How's it going? Oh my god. Hey, Faith gave me a present earlier. All because today is my special day. I'm going to use my brain muscles and guess that maybe you have something for me too? I do. I would love to be like I don't, but I, I really just don't have the heart to do that. Some warrior armor. You're so cool. I can't believe you got me such an awesome present. I'll take good care of your present. Thank you, indeed, Aru. Seeing as how I came all this way, I'm gonna say the exact same thing, but this time around, I want a wooden end table. Clearly, she has an obsession with tables. This is now the second table in a row that she's asked for. One that's specifically made out of wood, so... Go off, Francine. And here I am crafting said wooden table for Francine. And in return, we're kicking out another villager. And how fitting that the final two villagers left to choose from are my two starters, Snake and Vivi. Oh, so I guess this is going to determine who gets kicked out this round. 
and who gets kicked out next round. What better way of choosing than by asking Siri once again, heads or tails? Heads. He said heads. And heads in this scenario is Snake. Oh no. Even though we're gaining a brand new bunny resident on the island, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to another bunny resident on this fine day. Snake, oh my God, my derby king. <laughs> hey, this, you can probably tell, but I'm moving out. I'm so glad you stopped by though. It just wouldn't feel right if we'd compared biceps one more time. I'll never forget you or your amazing delts. I'm very sad, very sad to let him go, but luckily I actually have his amiibo. So if, I feel like bringing him back in the future. It will be a lot more easier to do so, unlike the other residents that I've had to kick out today. And with that, we've made it to the final round of this frankly stupid challenge. I've already shuffled my cards. We are about to find out who the 10th villager is in three, two. I have to bring him on. Oh my God, are you kidding? No way. <laughs> and the fact that Dom is on this island. Oh my God, Fret. Long time no see, buddy. How's it going? Hey, I came as soon as I could. Thanks for inviting me to this island. I like camping here, goshers. He's back <laughs> and he wants a clothesline. <laughs> Oh my God, you just want a clothesline. Do you not already have one? Um, Thank you for the recipe. You know what was funny too? Is that like I was planning, I was like, how funny would it have been if I accidentally picked Fre Fret's Amiibo? But then I was like, nah, I want like a genuine reaction for this video. And I wanna try and get like very random picks, picks that most people wouldn't choose for their islands. But the fact that I ended up with Fret anyways, <laughs> given our history, oh my God, what a perfect way to end this video, huh? And like the fact that Dom, Dom is also on the island. Like it's just faith. It's just faith that Fret and Dom ended up together once again in the Angry Coconut Cinematic Universe. And he's giving me a suit of lights as a thank you gift. Wait, oh. Oh, that's not at all what I was expecting. And the fact that it's the green one, it's kind of giving like St. Patrick's Day, which is funny because St. Patrick's Day was a few days ago in game. He wants a log dining table. Interesting. Once again, with the unoriginality, this is something that someone else has already asked for. I should have enough. Oh wait, I have to learn the recipe first. No, wait, <laughs> I already have the recipe. <laughs> I just said I already have the recipe and I was about to tell myself to learn it. Okay. Yes, I have more than enough wood needed so we can craft it right away. And with this log round table crafted, Fret is going to give me, but hello, campfires are a bit, wait, what, what was the recipe? What was, is this not what he wanted? Hello, can you tell me what you wanted? Oh my God, what was it? Did he not just say he wanted the log round table or did he want the log dining table? He wanted the log dining table. Right, 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 right. Okay, Fred, Fred, I'm so sorry for calling you unoriginal. Just back then, you clearly wanted a different item. Similar family, so maybe the unoriginality allegations still stand, but here, I guess, why don't you take said item that you wanted I now have an extra log round table up my ass right now. So that's fine. He's giving me another suit of lights. Girl, what? How many of these do you have? Oh, ooh, this one's in a different color though. That's exciting. Oh, oh, um, it's Faith's birthday today. Why, why are like all the villagers celebrating a birthday this month? Wow. Okay, so before we scan in Fret and officially have him move in, I guess we could figure out a birthday gift for Faith. Ooh, I mean, oh wait, no, there was the blue one over there, but I have a red one like closer to the beach, I think. Given that Faith is a tropical girly, these red snorkels right here, I think those would work perfectly for her aesthetic. Oh, 
Oh my god, damn, Francine already making a name for herself. She literally moved in like three days ago. Why this? I've moved to this island. Yes, it's true, Carrot. And would you know it? I was invited to Fate's birthday party today. I simply cannot believe we get to celebrate together. How fabulous is that? Faith, what's your game there? How come you immediately invite Francine as soon as she moved in? She literally has like that nice gold flapper dress on too. Like look at her stunting with the pearls. She's matching Francine and her pearls. They definitely would get along considering they both have like that face outline. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, look at them looking at each other. And of course, of course, Miss Faith, I have a gift for you. Here, take this snorkel mask and wear it with pride. And do other things with pride as well. I'll leave you two ladies alone because I have other businesses to attend to. Oh my God, look at them standing next to each other and boogieing. Yeah. I'll make sure you two have some lovely alone time right now. Anyway, oh, a bonfire? Why do you want a whole ass bonfire? What's your game there, sir? What are you planning on doing with it? Wait, if I give him the bonfire... Oh my god, fret! <laughs> Girl, this is a fire hazard. What is wrong with you? Girl, this whole tent is gonna burn down. Are you crazy? Campfires are a big part of camping. Girl. They're supposed to be happening outside, not in the tent. Have you never camped before? I'm happy to have gotten something handmade from Nook Tits. That level of kindness for someone who ain't even a resident of this island is amazing, Gwashers. This is a special kind of place, so why don't you live here? Although I am afraid to invite him because he might commit arson. We have one remaining resident to kick out, and that is Phoebe the very first resident of Nook Tits. How symbolic that we have to say goodbye to her right now. Yep, Nook Tits is gonna be way less awesome starting tomorrow, kinda hard to believe. Anyway, it was super rad getting to know you, Sparky. Make sure the others misbehave. Oh yeah, with Marlo and Dom and Opal and Chai and Fret and Wendy and Francine. Yeah, this group of villagers, they will definitely be misbehaving. And the fact that I'm saying goodbye to Phoebe in this outfit, now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Nook Tits welcome to Fret, the final villager of the day. And conveniently for us, he's right next door. So let's not waste any more time and say hello to daddy. I mean, daddy, I mean, Fret. Yeah, that's what I meant. There you are, Viss. You said I should move to the island, so that's what I did, goshers. Reckon it was kind of life-changing to visit Nook Tits' campsite. So, now that we're neighbors again, maybe I should start borrowing your stuff. Hmm. Or maybe you can go borrow your man's stuff, Dom. He lives right down the road. And with that, though, here's the brand new cast of villagers for Nook Tits. We got Dom, Opal, Wendy, Faith, Chai, Bones, Pippi, Marlo, Francine, and Fred. But now that we have a brand spanking new cast of villagers, I am probably going to abandon this island once again, let's be honest. It's yet another splendid day on Nook Tits. Oh, I know I sound unusually chipper, but who can blame me, Carrot? Yeah, she's so optimistic for living on an island that's literally full of junk. Speaking of junk, hi Dom. 